Van Dyke Show. What's this? A dirt bomb. A dirt bomb. Looks like your dirt bomb exploded in your pocket. <laughs> you need this? Yes, it's my lucky bottle cap. Wow. Richie, why didn't you show me this note from your teacher? Your daddy's been named father of the week at school. Yeah. Well, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> The 6th, that's tomorrow. Oh, honey, why didn't you tell us Daddy had to be in school tomorrow? I forgot. Well, I'd better call him. I just hope he can make it on such short notice. Can I have my rock? It's in the back pocket. Oh, what rock, Rich? The rock that doesn't sink. Here's your rock that doesn't sink, dear. That's called a cork. I know. Uh, yes, honey? Will Daddy be too busy to come to school tomorrow? Well, let's hope not. Hello, Rob? Guess what? You've been named Father of the Week in Richie's class at school. Hey, how about that? Well, gang, it looks like the Alan Brady Show is winning all the big awards this year. I have just been elected the Father of the Week. Oh, and I forgot to vote. <laughs> Father of the Week, how do you get to be that? Well, first you start out by having a baby. <laughs> hey, honey, what do I get? My portrait done in finger paints? Well, I'll tell you all about it when you get home, dear. All you have to do is be there at 1.30 tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon? Honey, couldn't you have told me about it sooner? We have a meeting tomorrow afternoon. Hey, Rob. Hold it, honey. Why can't we have tomorrow's meeting today? Good idea. We can't. We're having yesterday's meeting today. <laughs> Rob, why can't we have tomorrow's meeting yesterday and yesterday's meeting day after tomorrow? That's possible. Look, honey. Wait a minute, we can't. Hold it, honey. Why? Because I get my hair cut on Friday. <laughs> Why can't you get your hair cut on Thursday? I grow it on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Um, well, gay, we'll work it out some way. Honey, we're trying to rearrange things. Well, I hope you can. Rich would die if you couldn't be there. Rob, if you could see him now, he's almost in tears. Oh, my. Honey, look, tell him we'll arrange it somehow, even if I have to cut Buddy's hair personally. Oh, no, you don't. Nobody cuts my hair but my gardener. <laughs> Gardner? No wonder his head looks like crabgrass. <laughs> it's good. Honey, don't worry. I'll be there. Oh, that's wonderful. You've just made a little boy very happy. See you tonight, honey. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, how about that? Father of the week. Well, don't look so sad. Daddy's going to be there. I don't want Daddy to come. <laughs> what did you say, Rich? I don't want Daddy to come to school tomorrow. You don't want Daddy to be there? No. Richie, why? Because the father's got to tell about his work as well as Daddy tell. <laughs> well, honey, Daddy will tell about writing comedy for television. But he can't show nothing. Well, he could show something. Could he show how he types? Yes, he could show that. That's nothing to show. Well, how about Freddie's father? He's a dentist. What did he show? He showed some fake teeth from a man mm. mouth and an x-ray of a big cuspidor. <laughs> Honey, not cuspidor. It's bicuspid. <laughs> what about Andy's father? He showed some corn on a big plaster foot. <laughs> well, Richie, I can assure you that your father will not just sit there and type. He'll do something. He could tell jokes or... He could make funny faces. The teacher will say, silly. No, she won't. Yes, she will. I don't want Daddy to be there. Now, Richie, you know you don't mean that. Yes, I do. Richie, your Daddy is coming to class tomorrow, and he is going to make a wonderful Father of the Week. I won't be there. Why won't you be there? Because I'm going to have an upset stomach. <laughs> Father of the week. <laughs> Give me a kiss. You're silly. Yeah, yes. Hey, don't I get a hello? Hello. What's the matter with Richie? That's the first time in his life he never came up and says, hey, didn't you bring me some? 
Well, Richie has a little problem. Well, the problem of his age, what do you do, lose his lucky rock? <laughs> no, it's a little more serious than that. Hey, your eyebrows are in the frown position. Is it that serious? Yes, I'd say so. Okay, what's the problem? Well, it's this father of the week thing. Richie's upset about it. Well, didn't you tell him I'd be there? Mm-hmm. That's why he's upset. <laughs> you mean to tell me he's upset because I'm going? Shocked. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't he want me there? Not bad looking as fathers go. <laughs> no, darling, it's not what you look like. It's what you do for a living. You mean to tell me he's ashamed of what I do for a living? Well, he's just afraid he's going to be embarrassed about it when you tell the children what you do. When I tell... I have to tell the children what I do for a living? Is that what the father of the week does? Yes. What do you think you'd do? Well, I don't know. I thought maybe they'd give me an award or... <laughs> make me honorary window pole monitor or something. <laughs> I have to make a speech, huh? Well, just for 30 minutes. 30 minutes? What do you talk to first graders about for a half an hour? You'll think of something, dear. The main problem, as I see it, is to get Richie to want you to go. He's really afraid I'll embarrass him, huh? He threatens to have an upset stomach if you go. I just don't understand that. Well, dear, he's just afraid that you'll be laughed at because all you can do is type. Well, <laughs> I could tell jokes or make funny faces. And look silly? That's his biggest fear. Well, honey, what am I going to do? I'm a comedy writer. I can't lie to him, tell him I'm a brain surgeon or a marshal of Dodge City or something. No, you can't. I could just not show up. That'd be worse. Yeah, that'd be admitting that Rich was right and being ashamed of me. I can talk to Richie. What would you say? I don't know. I'd try to convince him that I'm a great guy and he ought to be proud of me. <laughs> Rich! Um, you want me around? No, I got you convinced I'm a great guy. <laughs> True. Well, I'll be here stirring things if you need me. Okay. Good luck. Hey, Richie! Will you come here a minute? <laughs> Hi, pal. Come on over and sit down for a minute. I want to talk to you. I said, Hi, pal. Hi. How are you? Okay. Did you have a, have a nice day at school? Okay. Oh, good. Well, tomorrow's a big day, huh? Father of the week. You know, I went to an awful lot of trouble rearranging a lot of meetings so I could be there tomorrow. It wasn't easy, but I said, no, sir, I got to be at school for my son, for Rich. He's going to be father of the week. That's a, uh, it's a pretty big honor, isn't it, Rich, uh, father of the week? No, all the fathers were in already. <laughs> I see, I'm the, I'm the uh, last father to be it, huh? Uh-huh, next week they start mothers. <laughs> I see. Rich, uh... Mama says that uh, you don't want me to come. Now, if you don't want me to come, I won't come. You mean that, Daddy? <laughs> well, no, I, I didn't exactly mean it that way, Rich. I, I meant, why don't you want me to come, Rich? Is it because you're afraid I'll make a bad talk? Uh-huh. Well, Rich, Daddy could talk about writing. What are you going to say? Uh, I'll say, um, Mrs. Gibbon uh, and members of the first grade. Uh, comedy writing. If you, uh, if a young person wants to be a comedy writer, uh, well, say, say, uh, if a person sits down to typewriter and, and, he, and uh, uh, in writing a, a, a joke or a, a sketch or something, there, there's a con uh, construction uh, that you. <coughs> <laughs> Well, uh, that's, uh, I haven't rehearsed it yet, Rich, but that's, the, that's going to be the uh, general theme. <laughs> Rich, listen to me. There is no reason in the world why you shouldn't be proud of your daddy. Now, your daddy's a very good television writer and very well thought of, and I might add, very well known in the television industry. Now, I have been elected the father of the week, and I will come to your class tomorrow and accept that honor. <laughs> And I forbid you to have an upset stomach. <laughs> you, uh, you heard that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I convinced him to be proud of me. I don't think you did. 
uh, did you hear my speech to the class? Oh, yes. Shook your faith a little, too, didn't it? A little. I'd work on that speech if I were you, darling. I don't have to. I am not going. Oh? Well, why should I? He doesn't want me there, and I'm sure not crazy about lecturing to a bunch of six-year-olds. I'll just forget about the whole thing, and everybody will be happier, right? Right. Nobody likes to go someplace where they are not welcome. He's made it perfectly clear to me that he doesn't want me there, that he's ashamed of me. You can't force somebody to be proud of you if they're ashamed of you, can you? No, you can't. <laughs> you bet your life you can't. I'm not going to put myself in a position of begging to be admired. Now, I didn't ask to be elected the father of the week, and I'll see why I have to accept it. It's not like you're being drafted as the president of the United States or something. Let him get some other father, some father whose kid happens to be proud of him. I've lived this long without being the father of the week, and I'm doing fine. Just fine. I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not going. <laughs> How's this? Mrs. Given <laughs> and, and uh, members of the first... I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not going. Children, quiet, quiet. Let's come to order. Now then, uh, Mr. Petrie, do sit down. Make oh, yourself thank comfortable. You. <laughs> now then, class, we are about to meet Richie Petrie's daddy, who is our present father of the week. And I want you children to pay strict attention to what Mr. Petrie has to say, because. He is going to tell us all about how to write comedy shows and how to make people laugh. Uh, Mr. Petrie? Oh. Thank you very much, Ms. Given. Well, first of all, let me, uh, let me uh, thank you for electing me the Father of the Week. Uh, yes? We didn't elect you. <laughs> well, that, that, that is true. That, that, that's true, Floyd. That really is. You see, uh, uh, the children volunteer their daddies. Uh, did uh, Richie volunteer me? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> we sort of asked him to, since all the other daddies had already been here. <laughs> My daddy's been here twice. Oh. Yes, yes, that's right. His daddy has been here twice. You see, Floyd's daddy is a jet airline pilot. And oh, oh, my, he just fascinated the children. I do hope you'll be as interesting as Captain Harper. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you will be. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> now, I'll just get my chair, and I'll sit oh, down well, here. Oh, let me talk to you, Mrs. Gibbon. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Now, then. All right. Uh, now, you step right up on the platform, and Thank you. we'll sit and listen to what you have to say. Well, uh, as, I, as I said, I am very happy to be here. As you all know, I, I am a comedy writer on the uh, Alan Brady Show. Uh, how how uh, many of you have seen the Alan Brady Show? <laughs> to raise their hands, aren't they? <laughs> yes, of course they are, but you see, the show is on rather late for them. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's right. You, uh, no one here has seen the Alan Brady show. That's... Oh, well, Richie has seen the show. Ha ha haven't you, Richie? Richie? Yes, I've seen it. Yes. <laughs> yes, he has seen it. <laughs> all right now, Mr. Petrie, you tell us all about what a comedy writer does. Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, a, a comedy writer writes uh, uh, jokes and writes uh, sketches. What's a sketch? Uh, what's a sketch? Uh, well, a sketch is, uh, <clears throat> is uh, kind of like a skit. It's uh, actually, it's a series of uh, comedic ideas with a, an, an underlying theme <laughs> in it. <laughs> Under, you don't understand that. I don't, you don't understand that. <laughs> Well, uh, uh, you see, a comedy writer writes jokes and, uh, and uh, uh, things that make people laugh. Why? 
Why? Well, uh, because, uh, well, uh, people, people, uh, uh, like to laugh. <laughs> Why? Why? Well, you see, laughing, ma laughing makes everybody, uh, feel good. Because, uh, you'll see, I feel good when I laugh, too. <laughs> and you, uh, you, uh, do laugh, don't you? Why, yes, of course they do. Why, when Captain Harper was here, he had them in stitches. <laughs> he did tell some of the funniest stories. <laughs> we had him here twice. <laughs> it was so amusing. I wish I could have uh, been here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, a, uh, a, a comedy writer writes those uh, funny stories that uh, people like Captain Harper steal, uh, tell. Can you write one now? Could I what? Can you write one now? Well, uh, 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 see, there's uh, many different things that the comedy writer does. <laughs> you, you laughed then. Do you know why you laughed? Because that was unexpected. You didn't expect me to do that. Did you see that? Unexpected means that something happened that you didn't think would happen. And it's kind of a, like a surprise, really. And that makes you laugh. For instance, uh, if Mrs. Uh, Given had said, children, we're going to have some addition now. And she said, uh, first of all, uh, one and one are 12. <laughs> see, I surprised you. That was the unexpected, so you laughed. Of course, everybody knows that one and one are 11. <laughs> see? That's, that's what the unexpected does. It makes you laugh because you don't expect that. And it's a surprise. Now, when I came in the door and sat down, you didn't laugh, did you? Because there was nothing really funny. You expected me to do that. But what, what if I had come in uh, uh, this way? Just a minute. I'll be right back. Now, watch carefully, Charlie. It should be very funny now. <laughs> Unexpected, and you laugh. So that's one way of making people laugh. Touch <laughs> you again. So you can surprise people and make them laugh. Now, another way to make people laugh is something familiar to them. If they see themselves, or if they see something in other people that they recognize, they'll laugh at that too. Now, I'm going to do some movements for you. No words, just gestures, and you'll have to try and guess what it is I'm doing, all right? I'll move this light table back. We can... <laughs> well, we'll have to... Oh. <laughs> all right, now, I'm going to just do some movements, and you have to tell me what I'm doing, all right? What are you doing? That's right. Tie! That's right. <laughs> She's on the wrong feet, that's right. <laughs> There. Now I'm all right, huh? Oh, what's That's right. You get now. I'm going to do another movement for you. This is called pantomime. It was invented by the Romans about 2,000 years ago. All right. Now, tell me what I'm doing. Left-handed tennis player. This is going to be in slow motion. <laughs> oh, gee, it's a bad ball. <laughs> now, a slow motion tennis player Here comes to serve. circus. Yeah, have you? Yeah. All right, now I'm going to do a circus act. First, you tell me what I'm doing now. 
climbing up the ladder. That's right. Oh! A lion bit me. <laughs> okay, here we are at the top. Wait, hello, kids down there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I am afraid I'm going to fall. <laughs> oh. Now, what have I got? A bicycle. Got a bicycle? Okay, I'm going across. Thank you. Ta da! Oh, I beg your pardon, lady. <laughs> so informative, and of course we could listen to you all day, but now we must all take off for research. No! Oh, sh 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 children, children, please. My goodness, <laughs> that's the first time I've ever heard them balk at recess. <laughs> <laughs> if we're very, very good, perhaps Mr. Petrie will come back sometime and pay us another visit, hmm? Yeah! 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 Now then, children, Say goodbye to Mr. Pitt. Bye. Bye, kids. All right, now. Pass it. Thank you for having me. Bye. 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 I'm going to watch for your name. Well, thank you. <laughs> and I just want you to know. <laughs> I must say that I think you were much funnier than Captain Harper. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Rich, did you like my talk? Real good. Are you glad I came to your class today? Yep. Daddy? What? Did you bring me anything? Yeah, I did. I brought you a hug. Oh. Is that all? Well, what else would you like? I can't think. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. Yay! <laughs> Come on, pal, let's go out to recess. <coughs> okay. Well, what did Daddy do? Nothing, but he was good. And did all the children like Daddy? Yep. But who liked Daddy the best? It was given. <laughs> Mrs. Gibbon, your teacher, like Daddy the best? Hi, gang. Did you bring me anything, Daddy? As a matter of fact, I did. What is it, Daddy? That's my autograph. Yeah! <laughs> uh huh, fooled you. You know why you laughed at that? It was unexpected. What are you uh, talking about? That's just part of my lecture on the art of comedy writing. Well, Richie didn't tell me what you did, but from what I understand, Mrs. Given has decided that comedy writers are almost as good as people. You heard right. Well, what did you do to captivate her so? Well, the same thing I do to captivate you. Yeah, I ran up to her and I threw my arms around her. I said, Mrs. Given, I love you. <laughs> if you don't give my boy good grades, I'll never do this again. <laughs> That's pantomime. Oh, do that again. All right. The Dick Van Dyke Show has been brought to you by Cheer, the modern wash day product with the exclusive Blue Magic Whitener that washes so white you can see the difference.